tashu rinero bamuna waluka Clap our hands and we worship the Lord. Father, we give you praise. God Almighty, we give you all the glory. We salute you. We surrender to you as the Lord, the God of our lives. You are faithful. You are awesome. You are loving. You are great. You are wonderful. There is no God like unto you. In everything that we do, Lord, we see your anointing, your power weakening us. Father, you have rescued us. You have delivered us. You have made us to be who we are. Father, you made us to be able to stand in the presence, in the midst of many things. You made us to be victorious in the midst of many challenges. You made us to be able to stand, Heavenly Father, in the midst of many things. You've made us to be victorious in the midst of many things that were supposed to have failed us. But Lord, I want to say unto you today, thank you. Your Majesty, I give you the praise. Your Majesty, I worship you. Your Majesty, I adore you. Your Majesty, I lift your name up high. There is no God like unto you. There is no God like you, Jehovah. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory, Father. I surrender to you as the Lord and the God of my life. You are indeed a faithful God. You are indeed a wonderful God. You are indeed a God that is always there. 
Father, you fight us for us. Father, you always walk with us. You always deliver us, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, in everything that we went through, you were there for us. I just want to give you the praise and I just want to give you the glory. I raise my hands before you today and I say, Lord, I've seen you. You are indeed faithful. I've seen you. You are great. I've seen you. You are good. I've seen you. You are wonderful. I have seen you. You have saved my life. You have made me to be what I am today. You have made me to be who I am today. I am standing it is because of the grace. I am what I am. It is because of your love. Father, I will never stop worshiping. I will never stop blessing you. I give you all the glory. Oh God, I bless your name. Oh God, I worship your holy name. Boruga yeso, boruga yeso, boruga yeso. Boruga yeso, boruga yeso. Boruga yeso, boruga kosiya mahosi, boruga mutsi mu muhuru mutsi mu amagata. Mutsi mu akano kisa, mutsi mu no tsura hone. Bona ke sa Yehova. So there's never it and this uru and so there's never it baba sya magata. Kaba shume vukati ya machiru wa shu barita kude barita shune bone wa funarichi wa zone Barine gundo mzimu wanga barine opesesa Wanda stenda zune ipila bane la amba Rishimbine nga yoru gawe isa ulita doru Babare sari ichiri chitebe na wane chipinga chote Mzimu wanga ndia barivuwa mzimu wanga ndia bakota ndia mzimu wanga ndia bakota isa Father I just want to give you the praise I just want to give you the glory I worship your holy name I worship your precious name Faithful Father, the I am that I am, I have seen you. Ancient of days, I have seen you. Mighty Counselor, the Prince of Peace, I have seen you. Father, you are my peace. You are everything that I want, everything that I need. Wherever I go, I see your goodness, your greatness, your love. I see you doing and making wonderful things in my life. I will ever and forever worship and bless your mighty name. Thank you, Father, for this time and this opportunity of coming together as your children. Coming together to worship thee, coming together to bless your name, coming together to worship your mighty name. Blessed be unto the name of the Lord. We give you the, the praise, Lord. We give you all the glory, Jehovah. We worship and we praise your mighty, precious name. What a mighty God we serve. What a great God and wonderful God we serve. Awesome God, the I am that I am. Let your name reign supreme in our lives. Let your glory reign supreme in our lives. Rule, Spirit of the Lord, rule. Take over, Spirit of my Father, take over. Move in our midst today in the name of Jesus. Our hearts are broken, mend them. We are sick, Heavenly Father, heal us. We have pains, Heavenly Father, take them away. Heal us, mighty God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let your hand be upon my life. Let your greatness be visible. Let your peace be visible in Jesus' mighty name. I give you the praise, Lord. I give you the glory, Jehovah. What a mighty God is saved. Blessed be unto the name of the Lord. Mutsimwanga Voduga. Jehovah ono fananam. Ao no hit someone yes. Kita farade dah usik kita buat ni baca bukan. Kita farade dah usik kita buat ni mesti muang kita baca apa. Ada lepas songkong apa yang hovah di tu iman apa yang beon. Atingkan segini, atingkan api. Di tu itu sunyi buat ni bafuna. Mesti muang kita dia berusaha. Hallelujah. Mesti muang kita dia berkhotbah. Hallelujah. Father, I want to give you the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Dancing my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art. Thank you, Jesus. How great Thou art Then see My soul Oh my Savior God To thee How great Yeah. 
We give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. Clap your hands, somebody, and worship and praise the name of the Lord. We worship you, we adore you, we bless you, we surrender unto you, Lord, as the Lord of our lives, the King of glory. The I am that I am, the Lord who was, the Lord who is, the Lord who is still to come. The soon coming King and the reigning King, what a mighty God we save, what a great God we save, what a loving God we save. We serve a mighty God, we serve the I am that I am. We serve the Lord God Almighty that is always there. Take control of our lives, Jesus. Take control of our spirits. 
take control of our souls work in our lives we pray we call upon your holy spirit to dwell amongst us today works amongst us today walk with us in today in this service speak with us one by one lead us in each and every step of the way let us not go astray lord let us walk according to the walk of righteousness because heavenly father you have blessed us you have made us to be who we are you have made us to be what we are we are standing in it because of your love not by might you know by power but it is by your spirit that is why we glorify your name that is why we bless your name that is why we glorify your name Waluka Yesu, waluka rahone, waluka mchitu wa machinu ashu, ni mwane mamote achina ho, ni mwane mamote rahone, kama muse Yehova, kama muse kosi ya mahosi, wa muse lirona la marena, wa muse mutimu wa rahone, kama mwane, 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 kama Come <laughs> Tonera <laughs> Father, I give you the praise. Father, I give you all the glory. I worship your holy name. I worship your mighty name. I bless you as the Lord God Almighty, the Lord of my life. The I am that I am, I give you the praise. Let your name be glorified, O oh Jesus. I give you all the praise, Lord. Can we all clap our hands and we adore the name of the Lord? Can we all clap our hands and bless His mighty name? Let us all clap our hands and worship Him. You are holy, you are righteous, you are holy, you are faithful, you are holy, you are great. You are loving, you are awesome. There is no God like unto you. Thank you, Jesus. Can we clap our hands a little late? Glorify the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Greetings in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I believe all of us, we are happy to be here to Wallace Fellowship together in the house of the Lord God Almighty. And I believe the Lord God Almighty will do us good today for we are here in his presence. We need our lives to be changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are going to find a chorus. I'm going to please call those who have testimonies. If you have a testimony, can you please come to the front right now as I'm still speaking? So that you can tell us what God has done in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Kuso banche, kubenche, masitandaza. Kuso banche, kubenche, masitanda. Kuso banche, kubenche, masitanda. Kuso banche, kubenche, masita. Kuso banche, kubenche, masita. Kuso banche, kubenche, masita. Ewo masita.
Greetings in the name of Jesus. I remember last week when the do was saying, in the second service, we don't have testimonies. And he said with prophet, these people need prayers so that we can have a testimony. I thank the Lord on Tuesday I received a call. No, receive a call I received a call of opening a door for a job. I really want to thank the Lord. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> 2020. We thank God we are still alive. We are still here. And 
I particularly thank God and not take for granted the grace of this house. You know, it's hard to understand the grace that's covering us here. You know, I've got three testimonies, I'll be quick. The first one is that uh, in the healthcare industry, we've lost so many colleagues. And being in the front line of the COVID-19 was not an easy task. But I thank God that I'm still here, I'm standing, I can't take it for granted. So I bless God, your prayers, Mama and Papa, are not wasted on us. The second testimony is that, huh, let me try to summarize this one very quickly. You know, the devil is always prowling around like a lion waiting to devour. Uh, in July, I received notice of an investigation, a forensic audit investigation that my business was going through. So, the thing is, if you've been watching news in the past year or two, you will have read that there are some medical schemes, especially the big, powerful ones. That have been targeting black doctors. They assume that when you are black like me, you are a fraudster. <laughs> so if they see you running around looking like you are doing well, they believe they have got a case against you. So I received this notice. I came to church and I said, let me bring it to the Lord. Come and pray, and then I'll answer them. So I said, they said to me, we want you to provide proof of all these just random consultations that have been claimed, random ultrasounds, random tests, random things for years and years that have passed. And I said, so uh, they assume you will not have a documentary proof of stuff that has been done. But I thank God for his grace. Uh, Years ago, I purchased a very advanced uh, ultrasound machine. And this 4D scan uh, has got archives for five years. So they said we are querying why other doctors have one or two maybe zero ultrasound claims. Every day, you, you claim 20, 30 scans a day. Where are these patients coming from? I said, me, I don't know. They are coming from Jesus. One thing for a fact is that I didn't call them from their homes. They came here by faith. And because there's a gynae clinic here, predominantly gynae patients will be here. And because they have gynecological issues, I can't look at their faces and decide what's wrong. I have to check with machines in there. So what they did not expect uh, is that they will 
demand records of patients for years and I will go into the machine and download those records electronically showing dates and times and pictures of findings that are real ba bona ne ba sa go pole re dilo tse go tse ba di nyakang di taba di le hona na ke ta ya mola mechining ka ntja information ka o fela ya ba dwetsi ba ba tileng le dinako tsa bona le matjatsi le re ne ba telang ba diwang ha di ala they said the nature of the scans you are claiming all practices don't have show us that you even own this kind of machine show that as the invoice for when you bought the machine ba re matoko tsa ba bangwe dilo tse go tse wena uri wa didi ya bana tsona anko re bontshe o re botse botse o dia jwang o di thotse kae o rekile kae motshini ona bo i had to submit pictures of machines and probes and proofs as well as files notes histories photocopies of what they came complaining of how the scan was done what the findings and all this had to correspond with the pictures downloaded electronically from the machine ja no nna ka tsena fase ka ba fa bo paki ba ntweng o lengwe ne ba nyaka di tshwantsho yinyinyi bo paki ka o fela tshe ntho tshe ba ne ba di nyaka ei the lawyer who represented the case was stunned lawyer o na eme tshi ditaba tshe we a thola taba tsa ya sa ditsebe if you listened on the news when this was spoken it was said that this uh, schemes they bulldoze and manipulate and twist things against doctors until they are said that they can't prove what they did it means it wasn't done then they make them sign acknowledgement of debt that they are owing the scheme it means what they claim they can't prove so they are they are in debt some doctors even had to shut down their practices and their clinics because of this ba re batho ba we ha ba ka o khwetsa ba thanola ditaba ka mantswa bangwe ba sia wena o ka re motho wa o dia dilo tse o sa ditsebeng e bile ntho tse kwa zanga o di dire ba thanotse ditaba wena wa shalona mila mila to wa saina dilo o ro tata o patela ka ru ya ba kolota so eh mazalwa eh these people some they even send people that are investigators pretending to be patients they walk into your consulting room with recorders to record you they say some person will say you know i've got two children one is on the medical aid the other one is not and the one who's not on the medical aid is sick please help my child is dying you know just claim under the name of this one and yeah. i always say i don't do fraud please so ba ba ngwe ba tata ba to thodishisha na mo reke na le ngwana o mo medical aid no o ngwa a gona ba re ke sa lebitso lao re tha thobe o re lebelle o na ke taba botsho ra wa tsela tsa o tswa nna nna ke di dire so they will say hey this claim this do what i say no good da at the end of all this i must go to heaven so i'm not doing anything like that ka re na dilo tse go tsa o tswa dilo tsa batho le di a ke gane ke tsa tshelete ya o tswa scheme ne mara ka lebitso la motho motse wa ke di dire na botse botse ke nyoka le go dimo so Now many people who used to do those kinds of practice I used that if you want to do that you don't come to this practice. So yeah, ba botsho ra o dia dilo tse wa o tika mo hai. A o nyake. So which means each and every claim that was queried and there were thousands of them was proved. O ra re ka o fela dipotsho tse ne bana le tsona ba botsha ka batho ba ile batho la bopaki ba nnete. The lawyer even said you know doctor your case is so simple. When we walk into these meetings normally she represents many doctors. She says when we walk into these places normally they play a video of the doctor doing the thing in the consulting room taken by these patients who are coming there who have been sent. In your case these people have no evidence and everything they've queried you've substantiated word for word they are even embarrassed they didn't find anything. ba re doctor we ape batho ba tele kwa ba ta o thola ba nya ko tsebo re wena o dia jwang jwanong a bana le ka bopaki ba ba ka re fang bona ka le ba ka lo re ba fitele ke uwe ba botswa dilo tsa nnete ba direlwa dilo tsa nnete jwanong ba swa ba lo swa ba o tapile ba bolele tshe ba di bone nga ba fita So it was she said it was a pleasure to represent your case sometimes people sign acknowledgement of debt of 5 million 8 million after we've negotiated it downwards for things that they've claimed wrongly and you can see this person is wrong they were guilty they claim things that they never did in your case it's pleasant to represent your case because there is nothing barake are ke le bo mo dimo we mela wena ka le ba ka la hore ka o fela tsene re di dia dina le bopaki e bile jwanong a ona le nidi ya hore re re sane re di pampiri tsa hore wena ona le molato ka modilo tsa ona o sa zanga wa di bona i thank god for this grace ke le ba mo dimo ka gaogelo it is his divine protection ke o tsireletswa ke modimo the last testament i told you i've got three is that bopaki ba mafellwa shi I appreciate the grace of this house. Ke le bo gaoelo e leng ka mogai. 
and the mercy of the living God. Indeed, the devil is there to, you know, to steal, kill, and destroy. He knows where to hit. But our God is big. I was facing this challenge for the past few weeks that my son became, was suffering from a demon of addiction. This happened during lockdown at Vasti where he was. When he came home a month ago, he was not in his senses. The substances he was using were making his mind to be like a mad person. And immediately I had him taken to a mental institution which also has a rehab. Because I'm a doctor, I know what works and what doesn't work. I know a spiritual battle and I know a physical one. You know, immediately I sent a message to my father. Daddy. And I told him, this is what is happening. You know, if you don't understand the grace that is embodied in the man of God, sometimes you will think, this man is ignoring me. <laughs> you know, I've gone through all kinds of sufferings and challenges. This was by far the worst I've ever faced. I thank God, God did not only deliver him, the prayers that were offered. The man of God said barely two words. But because I understand the God who is in him, every word, every word is a mouthful. So I realized that this is a spiritual battle. It's nah, time to it's pray true. very vigorously. And trust God to deliver this boy. Because medically, I know that the success rate of rehabs and drug centers is less than 30%. You can abstain while you are there. Some patients even smuggle drugs into those places. But I, I thank God. He has done it for me. Like like the of God you know, my prayer when he was in there was, Lord, may you create this insatiable void for you, which is God shaped inside of him that nothing else can feel except. <laughs> Now, when he came out of there, I was shocked. I came with him here to church. The day he came, we attended second service, and the man of God said, if whatever situation you are facing, just dance and dance and dance and dance and the God is touching your situation, you come with a testimony. So Faith doesn't make sense, Bazala. But the grace of God is real. You know he came here dragged and zonked out by those medications from the rehab. But when we left here, within three days, he was back to himself. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> the man of God said, you will testify and I'm standing here now testify. His, and what I must tell you is the most amazing thing. He told me that Mom, when I was in rehab, I found God. He said, I realized that 
in myself as an individual, I was not a Christian. I used to feel from saying Christian. They say Christian or Muslim or what. I feel from Christian. Just because my mother is a Christian, I thought I'm catching a lift. But I did not personally have a relationship with God like you do. I was not a Christian. 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 I was now I have a thirst that does not end. Please teach me how to read the Bible. Teach me how to pray. Teach me all these things. I am feeling empty. But the more you are speaking the word of God to me, the more that gap is filling up. And so now he told me that that service when he came here, straight out of rehab, everything the man of God preached was directed at him individually. He said, I asked myself, how did this man know what I'm going through? Because God speaks to him. He shows him a situation. This is the, the boy who now when we pray in the night, he leads the prayers. He is, he's sharing the scriptures and preaching. Now he's the one who wakes me up for midnight prayer. Now he, he says, you know, mom, they gave me all these programs I must follow for after maintenance, sustainability, after rehab. I don't have any cravings for those things. I don't even think it will add any value for me to register for these programs to be with other addicts. I think I will just go them to show them that the reason why they are in this addiction is because they lack Jesus. So I realized, I actually told him that might have been the purpose of God to allow you to go through what you went through so that you will be a testament to the lives of others. So that you can build this kind of relationship with God deep like this. Last weekend, I was, I'm just finishing, I was working at the hospital where I do sessions for the weekend. I came home on Sunday. So last weekend, when I was there, early morning, I was in theater busy. Theater I couldn't be answering phones easily. He was visiting his aunt, and they don't go to church in that house. The aunt was phoning me early morning, 8 o'clock. Your son woke us up. He's ready to go to church. He says we must take him to Rema. He wants to go to church. He can't miss it. Can I drop him there? I Yes, take him. The thing that is inside of him, he can't stay away from God. So I bless God. I'm amazed because I know that it's very hard for any person to do this by themselves. The prayer that the man of God offered together with me when I was down really has caused a revolution in the situation that we medically can't explain. I thank God for this grace. Greetings in the name of Jesus. My name is Lucia. I came to church yesterday off the church. Sorry, off the work. So that I could clean and offer my services. I believe that anything you do in the house of God is the, you must do it with your whole heart. Anything you do in the house of God will not be seen in vain. Anything you do in the house of God will not be seen in vain. We serve a God who sees all things and we serve a God who knows all things. Later that evening, I got home and I noticed that we didn't have any electricity. So I had to use candles. 
I fell asleep because I was tired and I was waiting for the electricity to come back. While I was sleeping, the candle started a fire in my room. So The fire started next to my bed. I was alone and the butler was locked. I couldn't hear anything. I couldn't feel anything in that time. But by the grace of God, I woke up suddenly and, and I was able to stop the fire before it, it burnt everything in the house. I believe that any um, service that you offer will cancel the, the plans of the, of the devil. It can be anything. You can come to church to sweep. You can come to church to mop. Anything that you do in the house of God with your whole heart will save you. There's so much grace in this place. Every breath you breathe is a gift from God and we must never take it for granted. I'm grateful for this house and I'm grateful for the leaders of this church. Thank you. Greetings in the name of Jesus. I want to thank God on, on Monday. Late, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. I was having headache. headache. A terrible headache. Oh. Went on until half past three in the morning. I decided to call Prophet. I told him what was happening and he prayed for me. Then I managed to sleep. On the following day, it was on Tuesday. I went to the stand. Also, they prayed for me. And everything was fine. I, I thought everything is fine. And on Thursday, I was involved in a car accident. The accident was very bad. Accident in Olympi. But to my surprise, I yeah, came out without any stretch. I remember the, the, the paramedics came to me three times asking, the are you The paramedics came to me three times asking, are you paramedics sure you are okay? The paramedics are you sure? Are you okay? I said, no, I'm fine. I, until they realized that I was fine. I just want to thank God for you know,